I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rock. Back with another one, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, I go by the name of Vita Fly. salute to my partner Showtime SP, and um, everybody out there who checks out this content, whether religiously or in passing, um, salute to the new podcast me and him just started doing called Nobody's Fly, it's going to be a lot more coming out with that, where basically what we're going to do is just pick a whole bunch of random subjects and just talk about them all at once, uh, it'll definitely run about an hour at a time, because I know a lot of people have been asking for longer content, and the blogs are usually 10, 15, 20 minutes, recap sometimes run 20, but I know some of y'all be in the gym, some of y'all be driving, and y'all want more, so it's only right to give them more, 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 okay, we're going to give them more. So, uh, it's a couple things we're going to talk about in this one, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to just put it all together, you know what I'm saying, rather than do it in three videos, why not do it in one, let's get it done, you know what I'm saying, I thug heavy, is my cup ready, give me a drink to that, and we can think to that, so, you got Tay Rock versus uh, Mike P, and um, before we even get started with that recap, uh, and this is going to be a quick recap, since these are one-round battles, this is quarantine. Um, I know there's some folks who don't have the app who didn't see it, and they want to know how did it work, how did it go down. That's what I'm here for. Uh, trust me, I, I'll break it down the way it needs to be broken down. Hold on, hold on. Before we get right on, cut my light off. Um, Charlie Clips. Salute to Charlie Clips and everything that he's been able to accomplish personally and professionally. Seeing him come from a battle rapper who just, uh, you know, started out got to a real high level really fast, had his highs, had his lows, um, rejuvenated his career, um, once had a gambling issue, but he's turned it around, you know what I'm saying, whether on Wildin' Out and even back with the battle rap, he had really good battles versus New Jersey Twerk, and um, he showed that he could still do it at a high level, you know what I mean, and um, he lost his grandmother yesterday, um, he lost his grandmother, the one that he would refer to in the battles, you know, from the good ass whoopings, you got to the throw it left. I had a good ass hooking. Oh, and by the way, I made yams, peach cobbler, some good ass <laughs> Peas, tomatoes, greens, yams, and you ain't gonna get no more of this good ass cooking. Now, there's only one way you can get some of grandma good ass cooking. I said, how's that? She said, give Tay Rock that good ass whooping. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We all know. He kind of made his grandmother a staple in his battles that he had in, um, when he battled Tay Rock. And a lot of other battles he did bring her up, but uh, he did... Um, speak about her and what I will do is uh, I will read I will read what he said as far because I mean for a lot of us who still have our grandmothers or grandparents around I know we hold them to very high regard and I mean I really ain't got much going on it's quarantine so either you're gonna rock with it or you're not but first of all I will say salute to Charlie Clips you know what I'm saying losing your grandmother in a time like this is, is very um, disheartening and I hope that you find a way to, you know, find peace and, um, you know, you, you, I like what you said. So you said, last night I lost my heart in human form, my best friend, my OG, my grandmother. Yeah, the one who I told if I lose to Tay Rock, don't bring your ass back in the house. Damn, I truly, if you truly know me, then you know how hard this one hit. But I'm a true believer in God and I still have my mother. So there's no reason to complain. She always barked on me because she felt I was lazy and played with my talents and gifts all the time and would never take anything serious or really try to be the man in anything. I do, and she was right. That all changes today. The irony in starting to be serious on April Fool's. She's going to be in heaven pissed off that I posted her on Instagram but I want the world to know how fun, beautiful, and tough my queen was. I love you, Grandma, and I will. And don't worry, I'm going to take care of Mommy forever, Grandma. And then he posted, you know, a little video of, of her, you know what I'm saying, and on, on a birthday. And you know what I mean? Um, it was very um, heartfelt. And like I said, she was some of his motivation in his battles, you know what I'm saying? And I know from knowing Charlie Clips and being around him and seeing him, how hard he worked. You know, sometimes he'd joke around in battles and things like that, and he always loved to rap. Like, even when me and him had just a little pseudo battle outside of an event one day, you know what I'm saying? I, I did get him out of here. But, you know what I mean, he was he was always, he loves to rap. Like, whenever he gets a chance, like, I was walking down the street, and they just start rapping at me, you know what I'm saying? And where I'm from, you got to come out the house with boss. So, you know what I'm saying? He, um, but, but I'm just letting you know, that's the type of person that Charlie Clips is, you know what I'm saying? So just... 
Keep Charlie Clips in your prayers during this um, tough time. Salute to him and um, everything that he's got going on. You know what I'm saying? And he also had another freestyle that he dropped the other day. We'll just play that real quick. Everybody stuck in the house is dry in these streets. Even the barbershops is closed. I had to shave this shit myself. Man, shorty DM me where you live. So I sent the address to the crib and she came over. She jumped out the Uber all happy like, ooh, this your house, that's your car and your Range Rover. I told her to come in, just relax. She kicked the shoes off talking about I need a nap. Now you know I wasn't hearing it. And on top of that, I'm furious. She just told me she on her, hold up. You think you gonna jump inside my bed and turn these California king sheets red and don't give me no head? You heard about the funeral they having down the block for this situation, ma, cause it's dead. Kicked out the crib, she ain't follow the rules. Called my young joint in college, but she stuck up in school. Hit my old head, she 48, her name's Sonia. She said I would come over, but I'm scared of the corona. Oh Lord, y'all don't understand. Everybody quarantined, I'm really in the jam. Wildin' out over 100 million views. I'm the man, but I'm stuck in the house with this lotion in my hand. Hey. XNXX.com. So yeah, Charlie Clips, salute to him. But uh, you got Tay Rock versus Mike P. I know a lot of people, you know, some there's people out there who just don't have the app. And, and especially in these trying times, every single dollar means something. I think I tweeted earlier that if you paid all of your bills on the first of the month, you're blessed because it's real rough for a lot of people right now. A lot of families are going through it. Um, a lot of folks are, you know, having difficulties, and it is what it is because people have lost jobs, people have been hours have been cut back, and you know, it, it's 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 nasty out here right now. As I would say, it's nasty out here. My voice, it's nasty out here. So, uh, and I know a lot of y'all come to this type of content because y'all y'all want to, you know, have somebody to vibe with to be able to talk about something that takes your mind off the normal everyday stresses in life. So, um, Tay Rock versus. Mike P, um, it's a battle that, I don't know if it was supposed to happen before, but uh, it came up in a quarantine situation, and I will say salute to Smack and, um, and them for putting this together, because in a time like this, it's not a lot of, it's not a lot of content right now, like, you don't see a lot of leagues dropping a lot of battles right now, because leagues really was, like, moving with the times, they, none of them did not expect for this to happen to where all the events would be put to a halt, you know what I'm saying? Where they were, they were living by the day, and now you see we're in a situation where they, should, they ain't got nothing to drop. Like, it's not just URL, it's all the leagues really don't have nothing to drop. I mean, other leagues do have a couple joints, but King of the Dot don't really got nothing to drop right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Rare Breed has some battles in their pocket that they could drop. Uh, who else is out there? Nobody else really got nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, the last Queen of Ring event, that was all dropped on the URL app. So, I mean, they cashed out. But it is what it is. So, anyway, quarantine comes along. Uh, it was a new innovative process in which battles could happen uh, on the app. But they would battle via Skype. And I think uh, a lot of people's questions were, were they just going to submit videos? Like, one person submitted a video, the next person submitted a video. And it's not live, so you don't really got no, no reactions whatsoever. But uh, what it was is three videos, you know what I'm saying? You got Rocky, you got Mike P, you got Smack. And um, I like what they did at the end, asking people how are they adjusting. Like, I, I, that's what I will give a lot of props and admiration to the fact that he's showing love and really like concerned about the artist's well-being during this. Because, um, and I'm going to get to the battle, you know what I'm saying? But uh, a lot of the artists, they battle from battle to battle, event to event. And uh, trust me, it's a lot that's going through it right now not getting paid. Some of them don't even work. Like that's their only stream of income and we're not working at all and that stream of income gets taken, it gets nasty out here. So to the battle, uh, Rock, he uh, he was, he, he had bars. Says, you don't look like a beast. I let it rip out the machine. It looked like receipts. Look, Mike deceased. Paramedics will put you under covers and you won't even look like police. And let a nigga from your squad wanna scrap. I pop the trunk and had police dog in the back. Palm it and clap. You'll see a K pop off, knock your block off. Brains of police everywhere. GTA five stars, light bars. Like the funny thing is, a lot of people say like, you know, Rock don't got no bars or he, he ain't gonna be able to do nothing with no reaction. I will say this, uh, his flips, his mic flips was, was definitely dope. Uh, he had some fire, he had some fire. He said, uh, he said something like, uh, you know, he's, in, he's out to dinner with his wife, 
I leave everyone in microscoped. Like you sitting at a table, I leave everyone in microscoped. That was a dope flip. Uh, he said pee on the side of the road. I couldn't make it to the rest stop. That was dope. Um, Mike hooked up to the machines with all the plugins. You know the machines. Mike plugged up to the machines with all the plugins. Uh, let it ring out the machine. It looked like receipts. You know receipts. Let it ring from the machine. It looked like receipts. Uh, all throughout his round, he had a pretty pretty consistent round with no crowd reaction. And this is something that people like really feel like Rock couldn't do. And he's coming off a lot of pressure with things that been going on in the streets and personally. So. I wanted to see what he was gonna come with, and I'm not gonna lie, I was pleasantly surprised by Rock's first round. Uh, Mike P comes out with a doctor mask. He says, the government told me to give you six feet. It's only right I put you there. And then he had another line. White boys always good at shooting Rock uncontested. You know, the white boys in the leagues are usually good at shooters. He said, uh, he said, lift my shield in front like Young Link. He had a series of bars that's, you know, use the Link. The Zelda bars always work. Um, Two-fifths on the hip for a square bringing around town. SpongeBob bars. Um, and a pretty consistent round for Mike P, too. I wasn't going to be real heavy on the um, judging. Like, I got this person, that person. The way the app is calling it right now, the app says uh, they got Rock leading in reactions. And, um, and I guess in the votes, if this is the votes, they got Rock leading 354 to 190. But, uh... Overall, it's something I'm pleased to have content. I think that's the biggest thing. Like, we're pleased to have the content more so than anything. You know what I mean? Uh, this is like, and then you could tell in Mike P's round, he held a lot back. He didn't talk about nothing. Like, I know because there's certain people who have not seen this. He didn't talk nothing about no chain, really. He didn't talk nothing about no rumors, really. He didn't talk nothing about none of those situations, really. He didn't really harp on any of those. And I think he said that I was holding it back until we get on the big stage or something like that. Um, and he's like, he was kind of holding some material back. So if they do battle in the future, uh, maybe it could be something that'll be a bigger battle. But would I want to see it? Yes. Um, they did their thing. Both of them did their thing. Uh, hopefully we get some more of these joints, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would like to see maybe a K-Shine on there, maybe a Rum Nitty on there. Uh, who else is around? Briz, 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 for sure. Briz need to come outside. Well, don't come outside. Don't, 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 don't. We're not coming outside right now, but you know what I mean. Like, come into, no, 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 don't. Proceed into your, pause, proceed into your Skype and battle someone. That was, that was rough. But, uh, so yeah, I, you know, that's debatable. You can call it, uh, some people are gonna give it to Mike P. I personally got Rock edging it 1-0, whatever the case may be. But like I said, I'm not heavy on the winners and losers in that because it's a one round, it's a one round, literally like four or five minute Skype battle. And I don't know if that's, you know, the results is not gonna be really contingent upon what went on because you ain't got no crowd reaction. And there were some bars that if Rock got off in a crowd, it would have went crazy. That leave everyone in Mike Rose scope would have went crazy. Uh, he said something else about, uh, you know, leave uh, police dogs in the back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if he would have said some of those bars, they would have got off in the crowd. And if Mike would have said to bring it around town, the two hips on the fifth on the square, it would have got a lot of reaction. But, you know, hopefully them guys continue to do what they do. It was very interesting, like I said, for Smack to be at least pushing something while this is going on. You have to have some kind of admiration and respect for that, you know what I'm saying? And um, I definitely respect what he's doing in regards to these times because a lot of leagues could just literally pack it up. They could pack it up right now and say, you know what, ain't nothing coming out. We This is what we got going on. And I've seen fans go as far as saying, yo, they need to open up the vault. They need to do this. They need to do that. And it's just like, it's rough right now. It's nasty. Like I said, it's nasty out here, B. Uh, I seen Swamp drop the video earlier today. Uh, well, he didn't drop a video earlier today. He got sent a video earlier today. You guys tell me if it's a reach or if it's a 10-4. You know, I, 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 we see these things all the time, so I don't, I don't know. He said, somebody sent me this, and it was um, New Jersey Twerk spitting a bar or a rhyme similar to what Swamp said in his battle versus... That's the whip seeing your main bitch, nigga. You was a bitch. You try and throw a jab, I try angles. Use a peak. My life is a bitch. Nigga, use a bitch. He know. I was just out and bopped it on my pot rooster shit. Let him try angles. Catch a bullet. Use a pick. Google click. Google click. That was three months ago. You know, the use a pick line. Nigga, use a bitch. Use a pick. Use a pick. 
Uh, it sounds similar to me. I'm just saying it is what it is. But I don't know why you would, you would take a bar from Swamp. Somebody has been on your on your brake lights. I don't know, man. But it's, we live in a society where people are going to say, oh, he probably never even seen that battle. So I'm not digging too deep into it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. But uh, other than that, man, salute to the subscribers. That notification gang. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure that y'all stay safe out here. Keep yourself together. And keep a positive attitude. And also, use this time wisely. Like... You got mad time. You had a business plan. You want to start something. You want to get back in this to, to, to working now when the gym opens. I work out every day and I don't, and the gyms are closed. You know what I'm saying? I go outside and I run. I got some free weights I lift. I definitely, you know, do some stairs. There's things that you can do, but do not waste this time doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? Read a book, reconnect with your kids, reconnect with your spouse, whatever you got to do. Make sure that you utilize some of this time because you don't want to leave out of this situation in the same mind state that you came into it because we all we all took time for granted and always thought that things this type of stuff would never happen and it's, it's happening so now we're in an adverse situation and all of us are like what the fuck i can't wait for this to end and also a special shout out to all the people that are out there with kids you know what i'm saying at home with kids because i know it's rough trust me but other than that i'm gonna let y'all have it Get back at y'all in a second. Use a pick. Nigga, use a bitch. Wow. Gang.